Hey guys, welcome to Hylor Gaming. I'm Joseph and with me is my wife Amber. We're at the Yiga Clan hideouts, so we're going to sneak in and meet Barta, find Master Koga, get the Thunder Helm, then look for the 8th heroine, then visit the 7th heroines, and leave only to realize that we forgot to go inside the shrine. So we'll do another shrine, then we'll go back to the first one, then talk with Bazai to get the sand boots, but he'll want the, the snow boots back, so, well, you'll just have to watch and see. Hey guys, well welcome back. Last week we entered the Garuda Desert for the first time and we went into the town and did a little bit of sightseeing in the desert, activated the nearby tower. So now we're headed toward the Giga Clan hideout and gonna conquer that and try to find the helm that Riju the chief asked us to find here. While you're uh, climbing the hillside, you wanna pause and look at your settings menu? So I like to record little clips of the game yeah. now and then. And if you go to options, you can turn on and off uh, yeah. what's called the HUD mode. Oh. And it's set to pro. Yeah. Turn it back to normal. Oh. And then that'll bring the mini map back. Oh, I see. So if you turn that to pro, it gets rid of the mini map, oh, the temperature I see. gauge. The Sheikah sensor, the weather, the time. Oddly enough, that wasn't even, I didn't even notice it being gone. And we Ooh, see our first hello. Mega Clan fighter. Yeah. Hello. He's gonna be close. Yeah, but we're close. You know, if Seriously. they do have a bow, they do tend to stay farther away. I forgot about that. It's the ones with the sickles that like to get closer. So this is the first time we've seen one of the Yiga clan's bows, a yeah. duplex bow. So what's interesting about it is that it fires off two arrows for every one you fire. Mm -hmm. And they're very nice to have. Is that a durian? Oh, it's Mighty Bananas. Yes. I just missed him a couple times, so I had arrows laying around. The Yiga clan love their bananas. Look at the... um. Sand. sand falling off. It's neat. It's so cool. And even down here, it makes like little puffs of Poof. into the ground. Of sands. They have all these funky frogs <laughs> leading up to their. Yeah, so originally this was a place that was special to the Sheikah. And long ago, the Yiga clan took over. I, I actually okay. think that probably what makes me the most sense is that 10,000 years ago, when there were no Yiga clanners yet, and the king told the Sheikah clan, or the Sheikahs, that they just couldn't use their technologies anymore, it was too dangerous, mm -hmm. that the, the Sheikah that revolted were the ones that were stationed in this place. And so they just stayed put, kept the place to themselves as the newly formed Yiga clan. Because 10,000 years ago, there were no Yigas. They revolted from the king's orders, wanted to keep their magic and technologies. Yeah, isn't it so interesting? So they rebelled, it's... and they took the hideout. It's kind of hard to tell if there are human or... There are human... Magic Things. They take advantage of things that the Sheikah will not use anymore. Yeah, because, well, you know, you meet the travelers on the road and then all of a sudden they turn into uh, the Yiga and it's like, how did yeah. they, do they magically do that? Or I think they that? do. Yeah, it's, it's something that they understand that's beyond the modern age of abilities. I wonder why they have their eyes faces covered. Because the original frog statues belonged to the Sheikahs. Oh. So then the Yiga clan covered them up and put their symbol on them. Interesting. Yeah, so in here was a special room and they desecrated the original structure with their Yiga clan banners. Yeah. Because the original oh. structure well, so in a time long gone, this place actually belonged to 
another ancient people. And you see these are like the seven heroines almost oh, in here. Oh, yeah, this is just a small version. And so it was originally belonging maybe to the Gerudo. And then the Yiga clan take over the place and hang up their banners. Interesting. So the Yiga have the upside down eye, whereas the Sheikah would have Same the thing, right but side up. Same thing, but right side up, yeah. Interesting. Tear going and down. I and I think that if we shoot some of these banners... Is it this one? One of them has something behind it. Several of them have different things behind them. The yeah, like chests. Chest. That's yeah. right. At least this one is more interesting as a chest. Excellent. Nice. Yeah, there is another one that has like a wooden box in it and a piece of fruit. I don't know that we really need it. Half the time, I think half of them have like bad... Keys, wings and Yeah, and some stuff. sort of enemies in them. First time I came in this here, I thought this would be like a boss room. That you would burn up the banner and out would come a moblin. Yes. And another one would oh. bring out a Hinox. Thankfully... Oh, I thought this was the entrance inside. I didn't... Thankfully, the Yiga clan have not stooped to allying, joining forces with monsters. Yeah, thankfully. Even though they are loyal to the worst villain of them all, supposedly they serve Ganon. They want Ganon to defeat the Kingdom of Hyrule because it was the yeah. Hyrulean king that they didn't get along with. And that's the secret There's passage the into the Yiga clan's hideout. I thought it was the one straight ahead, but it's... It would be easy to come in here as a beginner and not realize it was anything to do, turn around and leave. Oh, I know. I think I probably would have done that too if I hadn't known. Now we're inside. You gotta be quiet. It's scary. You don't want to alert them. They are very scary. But we do know we want to talk to her. Yeah, so she's their prisoner. Oh, she's the Gerudo prisoner. Barta. Oh, that's right. They were asking for her. Yeah, in the barracks. Yes. The, what was this? Yeah, the uh, Kata and Lena and Lena? Leanna? Something like Something that. Something like that. Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunderhelm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you can take them all on, uh. if only you had some way of distracting them. But I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. That's so sad. Well, the Gerudo troops are determined and dedicated to their cause no uh -oh. matter what. You want to switch into your Shika sneaky suit? Okay, I was actually going to say, I normally wear my sneaky suit in here <laughs> to keep quiet. Now, there's two types of Yiga clan fighters. We've only seen one thus far, which were the kind that change their appearance and cackle and jump around and disappear and yeah. reappear. This kind, this other kind is bigger, brutish, and they stand guard all day and all night and oh, you can see them coming see they have what's called the wind cleaver if i remember right it is a very powerful single blade mm -hmm. very tough mm -hmm. so if they alert the whole secret hideout that they have found ah. you you're dead mate because yes. they'll all gang up on you and get you but you can sneak past them like this. Do we need to go up on top of you, here? You want to kill him. Sneak strike him. Oh. Hmm? Oh, dang. Uh, oh, dear. Climb, climb. I think you'll be okay I if you stay I up here a second. <gasps> You're lucky. He looked right at me. I think he didn't see you because it's very dark, to be honest. And he's got the torch. Oh. And you weren't in it. You weren't in the direct light. Okay, I don't know if I want to try But this. you drop a banana? Oh, that's right. Yeah, drop a banana. Let's do that. Not on the side of the room where another guy could see it, but on the uh, entrance side. 
where so like over yeah. here uh-huh you drop it and then you jump down behind him and we'll give him a whack because they are crazy about bananas they go banana about bananas get him <laughs> you it. I don't know if I've been brave enough to do that in here yet. <laughs> you even got a ruby from it. Okay, now you go Think. to the right. Yeah, I, I saw somebody do, uh, like, fly down. Yeah, I don't know that you have to. Uh, Can he see me, though? If you crouch and go straight ahead, he won't. But then you'll toss a banana to the right here. So okay. grab a banana. I guess it's like a banana bunch, but don't drop it yet. Face straight ahead. And then... Do I walk up? Turn. Exactly. Now you toss it out there. And then get around I to the left. See. Go okay. around. And now he's going to be distracted. So you can run in. Go left. And you can avoid him. Okay. Now go straight ahead and climb the ladder. Yeehaw. Up here in the loft, in the rafters, Oops. is where they have their secret stash of yes. mighty bananas. Because they're crazy about bananas. It's like they are hoarding them. They know that the banana is mighty. <laughs> it is mightier than the Look at the all durian. Hmm. Nice, 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 nice. Could nice. it be that the banana is mightier than the durian? Uh, no. I like the durians better. I'm surprised they don't but put the bananas into the chests. Yeah, you're right. And and they like the topaz because it's the color of banana. Oh, that's why. Now here you want to... Jump out onto the that platform? But don't fall. You just want to make sure you land on top of the stone. The column. Okay. Good job. Now you want to survey the land. So I know there's a guy that'll be walking in front over by those hanging tapestries. Mm -hmm. And there's one right below me. So the guy, the reason that you come down here is so that you can get the the precious gems right beneath you. Yes, so if I drop... You, you'll end up sneak striking this guy too. Where did it go? It's there. I mean, it has to oh, be. Oh, it is, okay. Okay, don't lose your opportunity. Are you ready? Ever, you cut that close. Oh my goodness. Okay, now grab the uh, the ruby and then get away from the angle. That side, yeah. And then grab that. What are you doing? I didn't mean to pick that up. I meant to Ever, pick up the... Don't make noise. Oh. There's one more gem you missed. On a barrel around the I corner. I know, I'm just waiting for him to go. I don't know if he'll see me from here, but... He won't... Okay, now I suggest you climb back up where the mighty bananas were kept. I know that there's a, a place in here. Oh, go for it. But... Play marrow? Yes. I just have to wait for him now to go... Oh. As soon as he turns his back to go left again, then, you, then I can you go. you fly by him. Okay, now's your chance. Yeah, because this is another treasure room. Yeah. I just can't remember what I normally do after this room. I think it'll come to you. So now, rotate your view. Go up in there. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Amber, what are you doing? Watch yourself. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I <laughs> did like pop up right and he like is looking at me. <laughs> Uh, this is such a unique place. There's nothing like this in... Okay, now I'm back at the top. And now, now straight ahead something. on top of there. You want to get on top of there, because to your right, there you go. There's another I think chest. that's a diamond. Oh, nice. Oh, topaz. topaz. Close. Because diamonds are white. Uh. They want the bananas color. Okay, there's another chest out there on that middle thing. Yeah. 
such a unique area up here too. Yeah, and any chance that they spot you, they will whistle and everybody will come for you and you will die. And you will die. Very. I mean, dead. You can, it can <laughs> they can technically be defeated. Yeah. But it is... But us, well, I'm not naughty. a pro, so yeah. I can definitely say I would you, not win. <laughs> you really have to be in your A game, and it requires a little bit of luck, too. Yeah. So, You're don't going I need to into fly? that doorway where that guy just stands. Yes. So you've got to drop bananas for him to coax him away from the door. I think I can do it from here, right? Sure. But if you drop him on something that he... He just has to be able to see the bananas on the floor. And then he comes and you jump over his head. Well done! <laughs> Smoothie! <sighs> oh. Yeah, so no, this is... Dun, their, dun, dun, dun. I, don't, I don't know how to describe this room. It has a bed, chest... Uh, and a banana. Is. Okay. That's very anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something. They have targeting crazy. barrels. Ooh, it looks like there's and a. I think if you smash chest. the pots, you might get some air. Oh, yeah. That was really hidden. I barely saw that. More topaz. Ooh, this is kind of a great place for. Yeah, the topaz. More topaz. Wow. Ooh. Great source of arrows. Oh, there's an, another one. Yes, we're gonna move that wall. Ruby for Ruby. a change. I think that's now, everything. Yeah, so they wanted you to use Magnesis for these chests so that you would have the see opportunity this. to see that you can turn the wall. Oh, it has to be pulled back. There, there we go. go. And in here, we meet their leader. And I'm going to have uh, Joseph fight this fella. He is interesting. Yes. <laughs> I've looked forward to reading his voice lines yeah. a long time. It's a very unique... I'm bad guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to kind of base my voice off of what he sounds like in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Today! Right now, in fact! The stupendous chief of the Yiga clan, Master Koga! He's gonna kill you all! To death! Hey! Who the heck are you? And what are you doing in my napping spot? Wait a minute. That thing on your hip? Is that... Could it be a Sheikah Slate? If it is a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah, it's you! You're that Link guy that I've been looking for! What luck! My scouts are out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout. Oh, excuse me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the leader of the Yiga Clan! The strong, the burly, the one, the only! Master Kogar! Now, prepare yourself. Okay, okay, here we go. He has the most ridiculous top knot on his head too. It's hysterical. I don't remember what to do, to be honest. Is it the uh, Magnesis is the first step? Don't, oh, no, it's uh, maybe stasis. Nope. Do I, maybe oh. you just shoot it. Maybe I just shoot him. That's oh, it. Oh, yes, and then it falls down on top of him. <laughs> and his head is buried in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I'm so glad they did a comical <laughs> bad guy. 
Yeah, because he's not evil at heart like Ganon. Yeah. Or a monster. I think you need to shoot him when he gets above him like that. <laughs> 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 he does not like you. I've ruined his nap it's like, time. Dude, don't you know that this didn't work last time? <laughs> Ooh, he got up faster. And he's not very happy. He's gonna throw a temper tantrum. Oh, now oh, that's now terrifying. The jugular. What the? Oh, okay. Is this right? Yeah. Oh. You hit him with it. Oh, it went over him. Too far. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I can't tell with the 3D point of view that oh, it's yeah. behind him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> He's not very hard. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd be dining like this? <sighs> and by this guy, of all people. You think I'm gonna just let this stand? Do you? <laughs> I almost lost my temper. <laughs> ah, what a pain. I can't go out this way? What to do? What to do? Hmm. Huh! I got it! <laughs> ah! I need to bust out my serious moves! A secret technique taught by my father's mother's father! It will destroy you. This is the end. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's just bigger! Uh oh. Then it's keep getting bigger! That's a little terrifying! Uh, uh, maybe it's just a tad too big. <laughs> Are you still over there? Well, no matter! Pretty soon you'll be gone! And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate! <laughs> oh my word, it legitimately just <laughs> rolled over him without you Come touching it! I shall be remembered! <laughs> the Yiga clan will track you down to the ends of Hyrule! Okay, yikes. And by the powers, uh, the, of Master Koga, his chest was kept invisible. I I, I feel moment. like something bad's gonna jump out of it. Nope. The thunder, oh, the helm. thunder helm. A precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Yiga. It has the power to withstand Naboris's lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to read you. Whew. What do you think? We should, from here, maybe. Snap a picture of the eighth heroine for Bozai. Yes, it's not too, too far away. Let me see here. So it wants us to go back to Gerudo Town. We'll just ignore that marker for now. Mm -hmm. And the eighth heroine is in this part of the, the what is this, Gerudo yeah. Summit area. It's actually right in there. Yeah. Oh, you can, you can see, see the formation. The formation. But we need to get up further, like up Like over higher. here, maybe? Yes, like right there in order to get a good picture of it. Okay. And that's why Bozai but gave us the I snow also, boots. I also know, because I know this, uh, um, what do you call this? I also know because I know this quest that we will need another picture of the sword of the heroine. Yeah. Um, and it's, since it's in the near vicinity, then I, I think it would be smart to go ahead and get it. Okay, cool. That way we don't have to make two trips out here. So do you want to look at the map and you can I can show you where the Yeah, sure. Sure. So it's up the, there. It's um down toward this bottom area. We see right where it says Gruta Highlands. I don't. Up it, up up. Yeah, this plateau right here and it's down where those kind of circles are at the bottom. Here? Down yeah, in this area. Okay. 
There's some place in there. Okay. There is a the giant sword of the what was it the eighth heroine. Okay. Somehow oh, she go. Got... Nice. Whoa. He moves differently with these boots on her. I've never seen him climb Something. with them on. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Intriguing. It's like he's hopping up the hill. I, that is the first time I've ever seen him climb like that. That is so interesting. Huh. Yeah, see, I'm used to seeing him do one leg at a time. Yeah, but it's kind of a... Uh, he's staggered like, hop, differently. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> yeah, so don't they call this the Gerudo Highlands? Yes. So where we found the the you tower go. for this area was Gerudo Tower. Mm -hmm. And then that other tower we found near the nearest stable was the Wasteland Tower. Okay. That territory feels like it still belongs to the Gerudo to me too. Yeah, but, but it's they still, just call it the Wastelands. There's not much there. Those yeah. There's mountains down there. So we've got to look out for the occasional monster camp. Okay. I did not need it. I didn't either. <laughs> That's funny you said it right then. Oh man, with he, these boots and Isn't it the nice? hay stuff, it's super. I know, and then with when you get them upgraded, the boots, it's. It, I think you. I feel like you walk faster than normal. Well, that Boza did say that that would be the case. Yeah, I really, really, really like. It. There you go. First try. Nice. Nothing here? Huh. Interesting. There Nothing on always these. Is. Hello. Uh, yeah. I remember from gathering bits and pieces of the lore of the game mm -hmm. that when the monsters are led by Ganon, they stay together as a united force. When Ganon was defeated, their leader was gone and not around to tell them what to do next. With their leader defeated, the monsters aren't organized and they don't stay together as one united force. So what they ended up doing was just kind of like going off on their own. So if there were some monsters that were already on the Great Plateau, they just banded together, hunkered down, made camp in different groups of, you know, two, three, four, or five. And stayed put. Oh, so they became like sense. little encampments these monsters to stay in their own little factions their own little posse so they're just kind of like scattered across the country in their own little pockets of yeah. twos and threes and some monster camps they don't necessarily get along without oh. the being united by ganon wait where's the red it's it's in the right spot. No, so we're supposed to be going for the green one first. Oh, yeah, we actually avoided it. No problem. It's just gonna have to backtrack a lot. That's okay. Ugh. For some reason, I was turned around. I thought we did the red one. Oh well, this works. Oh, there's the Lionel up there. Oh, uh, you want to take I him out along the way? If you want to. Hey, Jude's here. Jude, do you want to find a Lionel? Jude's gonna join us. Well, Hello. It was, well, it was funny. We did not have mean to run into a Lionel at the very moment that Jude walked into the room. We were on the mission to find the eighth heroine and take a picture of the sword in order to get the sand boots and the stones. Cool. Whoa. Oh man. Oh, man. She's tough. I always think that the white ones are the hardest ones. Even though gold has more health, I always thought that Lionel's when silver, silver oh is something the different. It's right there! Whoa! Like, yeah. That's gonna make it so oh much harder. Goodness. That's gonna make it so much oh, harder! Oh man! Okay, I think that the uh, electric yeah, yeah. orbs are gone by now. Goodness, it's almost like you could just reach out and touch him right then. <laughs> Whoa. Where'd he go? Nice. Oh, 
I was not ready for this. I was coming in to ask you a question. <laughs> what, you want to do a waddle? Yes. Oh, that's intense. I always feel like the fire stuff is harsher when it's in the snow for some reason. <laughs> I love the animation when it gets parried. Mm-hmm. Like, explodes in your face. Rivali's gale yeah. is now ready. Whoosh! Why did he turn backwards? Whoa, look at that sword right there. Oh, see, that's what we're trying to get the picture of. Oh. Whoa. Oh, I'm surprised that I didn't get him that time. But at least you uh, got out of his way. There he is. Dead. I wonder if I can try Oof. to take a picture. Oh, I was going to try to take a picture with him in it. Oh, man, it didn't quite <laughs> <laughs> He's all blacked out. <laughs> That's funny. It did. Oh, it, it only registered as the white, -leaned, ma white maned lionel. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, you guys want to take it back? Cool. Thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> Thanks, dude. You can always hop on and play anytime you want. We totally didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> huh. This is what he wants. Oh, I see. So he, we did start at the other side of the plateau and then moved our way over here because of the fight. Right. Oh, wow. Hey, that worked. <laughs> that was funny. So the seven heroines are a group of unique statues, kind of like the ones we saw inside of the Yugo Clan hideout. Mm -hmm. Then there's also an eighth heroine for no particular reason. And there's theories about who the eighth heroine could have been. And why is she way out here on the other side of the, basically the other side of the desert from the other heroines? Some say that it's actually... Ganondorf? I doubt that personally. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, see, she's right there against the yeah. ledge. Yeah, enormous. Carved right out of the canyon. And he did say that he wanted to be able to see more than just like its face. Yeah, so that's why you have to kind of come out in this area in order to get a picture. There you go. Why is it not registering? Weird. There we go. Three should be good for good measure. So she's missing her sword, and her sword's up on top of the canyons. Yeah, isn't that interesting? How's that even possible? Yeah, I don't know. I figure that some sort of like supernatural magical event took yeah. place. It looks like she's supposed to be like resting the sword point on the ground and then her hand on the hilt. I wonder if... Like, or on the yeah, top. I have to think that something special is going to take place here in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, maybe. To explain. Like, you, you can see how the canyon face doesn't even seem to join to... I know. The stone that she's carved out of. It looks like she's been placed there, but then sort yeah, of but not. What, what could move her here, you know? It's fascinating. So it does say here that we want to go to look at the seven heroines themselves. Yeah. I wanted to do this because here's the circle of the seven heroines. Yeah. The eighth one would have been right there, you know? Yeah. Spot for it. But these are the famous ones that most people know about. Only a few people are aware of the eight, eighth heroine. Yeah. It's not as common of a... Attraction. Yeah. And you don't, and it's harder just to run into her here than in some of the other places of the map. I was originally a little bit peeved with Bozai for giving us the snow boots, but I'm not now. I know. Aren't they nice? Because um, they're, they're technically on loan still. So what we want to do over here is just introduce the seven heroines and activate a shrine that's among them. Yes. And I thought it's only appropriate to check them out because who goes to see the eighth heroine before they see the seven heroines. Uh-huh. We do. Yes, it was the wrong order. 
Oh, Link is now way too hot. Let's that happened see. faster than I was expecting. Beautiful. So, a lot, there has been a lot of theories about who these are, who they represented. I think that they represented the Seven Sages. There's something over on this other one. Yeah, I'm trying to get over to it. And it also looks like she's missing her sword. One of them is. It's where nearby, is it? too. Is it? Oh, cool. I forget where exactly it is, but it's nearby. Oh, it's a light. Oh, and one of the orbs. Yeah, so presumably the Seven Sages statues have been just... here a lot longer than the Sheikah had shrines. Mm -hmm. But when the Sheikah came along, they put a shrine right here among these sages. Sages originally represented... Let's see. Well, wait, we need to make sure that one goes in there. Yeah. Where's the symbols for them? I think it's on the... Face. Front of... Is it up here? There's a spot. Oh, it's on the feet. Yeah, see, that's her sword. Oh, the sword. Oh, I see. Broke. So part of it just broke off. Yeah. The face of her sword has the symbol oh. that we that the Sheikah want us to use. So it's the one with so like, the donut So there's orbs that have it. symbols on them. All right, so now we just need to find some more. So we gather all these orbs and put them into the pedestals, and it'll activate a shrine. There we go. Oh, it is. Oof. It's a lot of work. So the game doesn't tell you what the seven sages were about mm -mm. or the seven heroines. It's lost to memory. The Gerudo, because they're all women, suppose that they were all women. The statues don't appear to have a gender, so to speak, by their design. They are called the three, the seven heroines, They're, though. Yeah, but that's because the Gerudo have called them the heroines for oh, hundreds of years, if not thousands. But they, this, the sages, if I remember right, go back to the Ocarina of Time, hmm. and not all of the sages were female. Interesting. It was kind of lost to time. Well, now we've seen all eight of the heroines. So why don't we head back to Gerudo now? Gerudo Town. We need to give the helm back to read you and then maybe we could even do the shrine outside of Gerudo town if we feel like it yeah okay cool so before we talk to bozai do you want to do the inside of the shrine yeah and then we'll talk to bozai yeah and then we'll talk to read sounds good i feel pretty silly now we should have just gone ahead and done the shrine that we left from the seven uh, heroines oh yeah <laughs> well we're here now oh, well. so this is oh, actually this a cool a, one it is it's a bit more complicated but it's fun most of the desert shrines involve electricity let's see yeah i want to get the electricity going so it needs to go to there i think yeah so you're just giving it something that electricity can hop across Okay, now we need that. And if you get too close to these things, you'll get yourself shocked. <laughs> Can that hop? No. Okay. So, let's see. What if I put it somewhere useful? Stay away from the current. I was afraid to touch the lit, lit up part of the floor. <laughs> My first playthrough, I felt like, how am I supposed to get over that line in the floor? But thankfully, you don't need that. Ooh, that's Ooh. a great one. We need this metal chest to conduct some electricity on the other side. I think so, too. I feel so silly about skipping that other shrine. We should I go know, back. I know, I didn't even think about it either until after we left. 
And you just need these to conduct the charged electricity and avoid getting shocked. Yeah, we need to make the electricity go. Oh, there we go. Ta da! Haha. <laughs> Yield monk? Thank you. That was fun. You know, the, the desert isn't very interesting, but I really like it. Yeah, I do too. It has its own interest. Back to the seven heroines. What were we <laughs> thinking? Of course we're going to do the shrine. It might be a blessing shrine too, after all of that. <laughs> oh my word, what if you're right? <laughs> it, it is! is. <laughs> <laughs> what were we thinking? We just walk away from it, oh my word. <laughs> it's terrible. Probably some of y'all watching it know that, and you're like, what are you doing? Go back! We just don't remember these things by heart. <laughs> I think this will be our fourth spirit orb, too. We can get another heart, maybe? Or yes. Or more stamina? All right, so now you, I'll give you the controller. Okay. And you want to track down Bozai in disguise. Oh, yes. Oh, there, there he is. is! Huff, huff, huff. Mm. Oh, oh, thank goodness! You made it back safely. You were gone for so long, I started to fear the worst. Oh. I have to come clean. The eighth heroine is just an urban legend. It doesn't actually exist. Bozai, did you really think that and you sent us on a wild goose chase? <laughs> you don't know how to pick up a girl, do you? No. I, well, I just wanted an excuse to get close to you, you know? You got close to me by sending me away. Bozai, it, you need lessons. You need to go to that <laughs> class that the Gerudo ladies have. I wanted to keep you engaged, so so I just thought up something impossible to hold your interest. <laughs> Bozai, you're doing it all wrong. You also don't tell the girl <laughs> what an yeah, idiot for you've real. been. <laughs> <laughs> and as a result, I put you in harm's way. I'm a cat. I've been so, so worried. Okay, well, at least you're apologizing. Yeah, at least he's nice about it. I won't put you in danger anymore. From now on, I'll be your protect- Found it. <laughs> Lee just interrupts him. <laughs> oh, I see. I was like, what are you saying? And then I forget. That I, I didn't see that. Bozai is in uh. mid-sentence and Lee's like, hey, 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 hey. Are you, are you trying to console me because I've been so heartsick over this? You're such a kind soul. But no need to coddle me. From now on, I'll look at this. Bozai, look, Link knows what he's talking about. <laughs> that certainly is... The way it was rumored to look. That? Mm. That's amazing! I thought it was just an old wives' tale. The eighth heroine actually exists. If the rest of the world knew this, it'd be absolute bedlam. But I won't tell anyone. Uh. Yeah, that way, it's just our little secret, right? Sort of a bonding thing. And yeah, if, if it's okay, I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you the sand boots now. Oh, oh, oh okay. Just a second, I'll take them off. <laughs> okay. This is so awkward. <laughs> take them off your feet and give them to me. Okay, as long as he had it to me. Yeah, he Dude, keeps his barefoot. pants. <laughs> Somehow, we have <laughs> pants that aren't the ones that he's been wearing all along. Yeah. Treat him as tenderly as you would me. Oh, come on, Bozai. <laughs> <laughs> and now, could you be a lamb and return my stow boots? Otherwise, old Bozai is going to be barefoot. Dang it. We want them both. I know. All right, we're done here. Wait, Bozai, we kind of like those. We wanted yeah. the sand boots, but the snow boots are handy too. So, but I do think we can get them in a second. Boy, but these will make running in the sand pretty difficult. I'm pretty tired anyway from my jogging regimen. I think I'll just park myself under the tent in front of Gerudo Town and take five. Care to join me later? Goodbye. Oh. Huh? Aw. Huh. Good, goodbye. Wait, no! <laughs> he vanished. You gotta go talk to him. The eighth heroine yes. is complete. Now go talk to him about the snow boots. Yep. You'll want the picture of the the sword, right? Mm-hmm. It's funny that and he I even didn't he... mention the sword when he saw the picture of the heroine. Yeah, I think you have to come back and talk to him like this. Mm. You! You came! I mean, hey, yeah, of course. Figured you'd just swing by. Yep. Do the old swing by. <laughs> we didn't get a chance to spend much time together earlier, did we? Whoosh. Total whirlwind. So, want to hang out? I want snow boots. <laughs> One track mine, Link. What? You want my snow boots too? Well, he did say we are yes. a boot monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, aren't we greedy? Or should I say insatiable for boots? A boot thirst that cannot be slaked. Slaked? <laughs> Dude. I don't even know what that means. Adorable. But listen, if I give you these, I'll have nothing for my feet. Aren't you kind of hot in the snow boots in the desert anyway? I know, for real. Man, what should I do? Think. Think, Bozai. Can't put her in a bad mood. Okay, do not blow this. Just relax and work a little verbal magic. Hmm. How can I resist a request from you? No lie. You really gave me a surprise earlier, and I love surprises. Surprise me again like that, and I'll give you these snow boots as a surprise present. Bozai. <laughs> You're playing ah. games in the schoolyard. So let me ask you this. Did you notice that the statue of the 8th heroine isn't actually holding a sword? Pretty weird, right? Seven other heroines, they all have their swords. Suspicious, you know? Which leads me to deduce that the 8th heroine must have had a sword as well. Must have. Ah. See that such a sword actually exists? That my deduction is right. There could be no greater surprise. <laughs> you could say, let me think about it. I know, we're gonna I, have to. I think that's sort of like saying, yeah, no thanks. So we're gonna say that we'll go look for yeah. it. Yeah. What? You're really going? Bose, why don't you just go find it? Wow, well, all right does... then. I mean, you're wearing the snow boots. I mean, go for it then. Yeah, right? The sword would be pretty big, so I doubt it could have been carried off too far. I'm betting it's probably somewhere in the steeps of the Gerudo Highlands. Yes. Oh. And the thing is, I can't lend you the snow boots this time. Just can't do it. I'm really sorry. Yeah, so this drives a wedge between us, both. I know, this is sad. <laughs> no way a normal person can make it through the Gerudo Highlands without good snow boots. She'll probably give up halfway through and come crawling back. Fine, mm -hmm. you win. So headstrong, I love it. <laughs> I'll just be waiting here, okay? If you ever need me for anything above and beyond footwear, you just come find old Bozai anytime. Why don't you go out to the Karakara Bazaar and enjoy the water? Yeah, the so The Forgotten now Sword. We're going to talk now, to him again! <laughs> yeah. It, you! <sighs> A traveler swore he saw you in the Gerudo Highlands. <laughs> I like it. Because we had the picture. The yeah. story has advanced to think yes. that we just came from the Gerudo Highlands with the picture. <laughs> That's awesome. I we know. did it out of order and it's all confused. Yep, yep. So I've been gnawing on my fingernails with worry. I mean, all that talk about the sword was just chit chat. I didn't think you'd go out there without snow boots. <laughs> we did. <laughs> anyway, are you okay? Feast your eyes, Ozai. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. <laughs> oh, on the picture. What? It really exists. Dumbfounded, I know. And you went searching for it without a decent pair of snow boots. Well, he doesn't know what hurt him, right? I mean, the Gerudo Highlands are unforgiving. I doubt I could survive there, and I'm burly. Uh, it, underneath all that padded clothing, are you really? Who are you? The snow boots. I want the snow boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did risk your life to fulfill your promise after all. It'd be pretty uncouth of me to drop my end of the bargain. Yeah, we had to fight a Lionel for it. Yeah, for sure. Just a second. I'll take him off. Bozai, you can go back to Karakara Bazaar and ask Guy to fly you back to some place in Hyrule where you can buy some shoes. Yes, or just don't go into the snow or the mm. the desert. Well, he's, he's kind of already in the desert, so I, he's going yeah, to have to... Well, now I'm barefoot. Mm. But if you're happy, then I'm happy. And what's more, this whole episode has endeared you even more to me. <laughs> Bozai, your cute, greedy side, your sassy, playful, rude side, your unexpectedly tough side. Oh. Uh, um, would you go out with... Not a chance. <laughs> Link doesn't hesitate. <laughs> uh, I kind of knew you'd say that, but would it kill you to just let me finish the question? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what does he say if you talk to him now? It's kind of done with, but at the very least, let me gaze after you until you disappear from my vision. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. A Bozai, girl will go. Th a girl will come along someday. And you can sweep her off And she will appreciate feet. you with or without boots. Now, real quick, you want to swing over to the statue? 
Do you want a spirit orb or a stamina vessel? We're I mean, so a, a heart close container. to the stamina vessel being done. Or the stamina. It takes two more, though. It's your call. I'm inclined to do the stamina. All right. Sounds good. It'll be fun to give Riju the Thunder Helm after all this. Oh, it's oh. 8.30, so she probably is still in her room. Where's her room? I think you could go there, but I don't know that you would be able to give her the Thunder Helm there. You could always try to find her. Go up the stairs. I actually don't even know where her room is. Oh, is oh I forget. We need to meet her here. Oh, really? Huh. I thought yeah. it was back at the throne. Yeah, that's her room up those stairs. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you needn't say a word. As the chief of the Grudo, I can sense the power of the heirloom flowing from you. She's a little person. She is. Only 12 years old, according to the lore stories. Interesting. I know that you've been successful. I am, as you have no doubt noticed, still but a child. Yes, we were just talking about that. <laughs> the people look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes. But even this brings me some pain, I must admit. I've tried so hard to be worthy of their love, to be a worthy chief, and to prove myself that I was worthy too. When my family heirloom was stolen, I felt as though a shadow had fallen over me. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all this must be the work of Lady Urbosa. Now please, give me the helm. Um, <laughs> how do I look? <laughs> it looks like bug eyes. It does. I wonder if that was the idea. Well, it looks like the front of the Divine you Beast. The, you think it does? I think it's the head of the Divine Beast. I don't know. I don't remember the Divine Beast appearing to have that many eyes. But it does remind me of the Divine Beasts in general. We'll have to look and see. Oh, it triggered a oh. memory. I had completely forgot about this memory. Oh. Oh, yeah, this one. Urbosa. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. Fish. Man. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Oh, she does have blue lipstick. Very blue. <gasps> Urbosa! What was that? Did you feel that? We all felt that. <laughs> Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, the Thunder Helm I suppose was right Urbosa there. had shared the Thunder Helm's powers with Zelda or something, because I don't imagine that she needs it. So that must be why it was with her, to show it to Zelda. What's wrong? You're just staring. Anyway, what matters now is... How... how is it? 
Do I look all right? I see. The threat Von Aboris poses has only grown since we began searching for the heirloom. I believe that Gerudo Town itself may be in danger before too long. As chief, and as a Gerudo, I must find a way to stop this thing before it threatens my people. Will you help me? Well, do we want to say, of course, or not right now? Oh. We do have other things we could do first. For example, I would like to go back to the Great Fairy and upgrade the clothing oh, yeah. before we go in to fight the next- Oh, so like if we said of course, it would go directly into the- Yeah, she would be like, okay, oh. I'm ready to go. Let's go now. I see. But we could always come back to meet her later after we sure. have got and upgraded our clothing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I want to do some yeah. upgrading before. So, er, not right now. Huh. I suppose that even a champion such as yourself must need some time to prepare for such a battle. Exactly. Yep, <laughs> that's the reason. I will go on ahead. Once you have steeled yourself, meet me at the lookout post south of town. Okay, cool. So okay. we don't have to come back here to tell her mm -hmm. we're ready to go to the outlook post. Uh, the, 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 the lookout post. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. There's only one way to get close to Naboris, and that's with the help of a sand seal. The lookout post isn't too far from town, but you should take a sand seal there. You can get some practice in that way. I'll be there waiting for you with my favorite sand seal, Patricia. Still, it really is a little big. Mm -hmm. Well, you said it, Richard. Well, everyone, that wraps up everything for part 31 of our Breath of the Wild walkthrough. Come back Fridays for new episodes. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our channel. We love to hear from our viewers, so please drop a comment below. God bless, and we'll see you soon. Cheers!